Check, check, check. There are infinite songs out there to be written. It's really about stepping up and being like, I'm gonna try this. The times you are most vulnerable, that's where the magic is. It's a feeling of liberation and expression that you just don't find with any other form of art. It's your unique perspective that will change the landscape of music in the future. One, two, three, four. I learned how to harmonize by being the annoying kid in the car who is like, uh, like harmonizing with everything on the radio. But that's how you learn. Hey, I'm Phoebe Bridgers, and I'm a singer-songwriter. Hey, I'm Marshall Vohr. I'm Phoebe's ex-boyfriend, and we're still friends. No, okay, okay, I'm ready. Hey, I'm Marshall Vohr. I'm a songwriter and general all-around music fan. Well, normally we wouldn't be at Sound City to do this part of it. Normally, it's either at your house or my house. Find the quietest room. I light every candle and like get in the mood. Anyone that tells you there's a proper way to record anything, they're wrong. There is no proper way. There's just things that you try and the consequences of those things. And do you like that or not? Does it work for your particular situation? So there are a couple options, at least for me, when I make demos. Option number one, voice memo app. That's when you want to do something quick. But the best one for multi-tracking is Spire Studio. What's fun about your phone and the studio is you connect them so you actually control everything on here. So this is how you create a track. Create a track, stop, create a new track. It has a built-in microphone here. But you can use any microphone at all with this thing. Check, check, check. So see, my input level is right there. It's going up and down. Whatever you're recording into, there'll be a meter for the track that will show you how much volume it's getting going into your computer, your phone. In this case, the meter's right on the front here. And as you make sound, boom, boom, boom. See, that's a little yeah. too loud. If it goes red, it's way too loud. <laughs> That's yeah. too loud. <laughs> you want it to rest kind of like in the middle or like second half. When it's too quiet, you're gonna get a lot of extra noise. When it's too loud, it's just gonna distort. So what you wanna do is make sure you're getting a healthy signal, not too much, not too little. This is what a pretty typical pop filter looks like. I like a pop filter and to be like almost right up against it, but I also sing really soft. But sometimes, like when I built, I will be like, the mic's right there, I'll be like way back here because I really like the way that Bruce Springsteen's records sound. But it's really a stylistic choice. So you want to experiment with your particular voice and find that right spot. Every room and every instrument is going to be very different. Ultimately, you're just trying to experiment with things, whether that's the mic being far away or close, or maybe using, I don't know, towels on drums or just Anything to get the sound that you want is a good thing. I like the way that bathrooms sound for vocal and to put your amp in your bathtub. I feel like a lot of people do that because it's kind of like natural reverb a little bit. That's one of the most fun things about recording is that it is all a huge experiment. When I'm at home, I feel like my vocals are pretty tentative, like I'm trying to save my voice. I kind of like the like whispery quality of, that demos have. I don't do a ton of warming up, which I probably should, but my favorite vocal warm up is weirdly the For someone who hates vocal warm ups, that's a good one. Check, check, check. Okay. So you hit that big red button, it's go time. I think with sad songs, that's my favorite. Like you, I almost like like making people uncomfortable who are listening. Like you want to be emotive. It doesn't really seem like a put on to me. So now I can listen back. Cool, so now I'm ready to make my vocal take. Kill you if you 
you don't beat me to it Dreaming through Tokyo skies I wanted to see the world Then I flew over the ocean And I changed my mind Woo! So now, you can listen to that Vocal's a little loud, so I'll turn it down here. Okay, so now if we want, we can do this. Another vocal track. I'm gonna turn my gain down a little bit because I want it to be a little quieter. I'm gonna kill you If you don't beat me to it Dreaming through Tokyo skies. Cool. So now we have a full track. For probably all of history, some of the most exciting and coolest art has been made by teenagers with no money. Yeah. <laughs> in definitely. their bedrooms. I feel like it makes you wake more connected to people and people feel closer to you and trust you more. If they feel like they actually know who you really are, it comes off as like authenticity. That's so true of songwriting too. Apologize for yourself as little as possible. When I show something and I'm like, okay, it's not all the way done and this is by no means finished. It's like, just do it, it's fine. <laughs>